Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Well, today I'm down here working on this typhoon shelter area. Um, I'm just going to nickel dime it and work for an hour or so a day, uh, mostly for exercise for my little diet thing. My first project is to level this chunk of dirt here off into a uh, I thought a, a nice waist-high table of dirt would be very handy for uh, doing some of my outdoor videos, my knot videos and stuff, to have a nice dirt background and uh, be real nice for making uh, little fires on, stuff like that. I thought it would be real handy. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I, you can see how it's flattened out there. That, if you want to believe it, that's actually about an hour and 20 minutes work there. Just that little bit there, picking that out, picking over here. I had to pick this again a little bit to get it cleaned out. There's a, a foot or so of dirt in there, and it cleaned all this out of here. And I'm throwing it over the edge a little bit, trying to build this up a little bit. I, I really don't want to build it out much. Um, to build it out, you really need to put in a some kind of retaining wall in here. Uh, I met a nice guy yesterday, a guy named Ryan. And uh, he says his his girlfriend has a real nice piece of land on a hill. And I showed him this area here. And I talked about putting up uh, a couple pylons, three pylons, and then building a cement floor across and then building on top of that. But uh, uh, he mentioned that this would probably be a good idea. And I, more I'm thinking about, this would probably be the way to do your, your hillside is get yourself level back into the hill. You know, like a 20 by 20 or a 30 by 30 area, however big, it, however big, big of a house you want to make, and make sure you're you're well back from the edge with your foundation. And then out here, you can put out a nice porch or something like that, like we're thinking about doing. And uh, that'd be a good a good idea to get your foundation and your, um, like I say, like if you had to go back this far, get yourself a 10 foot wall, and then on top of that, put a cement floor. Would be a good idea. And then build your house on top of that. And then the, the lower part you'll have down here will be a nice uh, storage area. Or you can put a, a wall along the front of it here, screen it in, and put a nice screened in porch, whatever you want to do. So I think that would be a pretty good idea for you. And Ryan also has a, a channel. I'll give you the link to that later. I don't have it yet, but I'll, I'll give it to you. Sounds like a real nice thing. So I guess I'm just going to... Start chopping. Put about an hour in. What, what I did yesterday, I worked until worked until I got pretty tired. Then I rested for a minute or two, sitting down here, standing down here. Went in it again, and then a third time. And then I worked. I worked till I started shaking, and uh, then quit. A little different than doing the cement work, where you got to just keep on going and going and going until you're finished. So here, I'm just going to work till I stop. And use this again as an exercise method plus start get some things done eventually again i want to get this big chunk here out get the walls all uh nice and vertical and uh we'll start laying blocks in here eventually I, i'm hoping maybe by christmas we can get the the frame of this in and then start working on a dome roof and then get it all covered with soil and we'll have ourselves a, a real decent typhoon shelter and then eventually we'll invest in some roll-up doors for the front of it put an air conditioner over here and then my goal is to have a 20 maybe a 20 by 20 uh, screened in porch out here overlooking the, the valley I think it'd be awesome so we'll just see how it goes all right well guess to get started today I'm going to use a uh, kind of a pick I get that down to about where I want it. Then I use a bar to smooth it out. And then after that, I'll use a uh, flat shovel to smooth it out anymore and to shovel the dirt. I'm wearing gloves today. Yesterday I worked long enough that I got a, actually got a blister through the gloves. So I worked pretty hard yesterday. And today it's about... Oh, 90, 95 out here. It's a little cloudy. 
so it's not so bad. Uh, I did all this. I did all this work yesterday from down below, swinging the pick. Today, I'm gonna get up here in the upper level, so I get a little bit more torque with the with the pick. But you'll see the the ground's real real hard. It's almost it's, they call it termite stone. And I'm also trying to work easy because I I can't get my I got one toe that I got a big diabetic ulcer going on it. Trying to treat with some herbal methods and I can't get it all sweaty and dirty, so I'm just gonna take it easy as I go. No big hurry. You can just tell by the sound of it, it's pretty solid dirt. Lower you get, the worse it gets. Down by the lower level, it's almost like stone. It's easiest when you're working if you can keep an edge in front of you, you just keep chipping on the edge. It's much easier when you're working on a big chunk, it's a lot tougher. Just pull all this dirt down. It takes me about 30 seconds to start getting winded. This is probably good, pretty good exercise. Get your heart moving pretty good. But imagine you can keep your heart rate up for 20 minutes. Doesn't matter, make a difference whether you're doing aerobic exercises or digging. Still probably good for you. And this way, at least I'm getting something done. <laughs> it's just super hard clay, hard pack clay. You know, it's been here for eternity, obviously. Here it's really hard. Trying to keep it kind of level. And that'd be perfect, but it'd be nice if it was a nice smooth table when I get done.
Yeah, pretty, pretty good dent in it so far. But it didn't take long to get winded here. Just a few minutes. But I got a pretty good little pile here already. And rather than let it build up too much, I'll just clean this up, throw it over the hill, and then go at it again. Maybe take a break for a minute or two. And then uh, just dive right back into it. Handle shovel, it sure would be easier. I think you use your legs to do the work rather than your back. Put most of it right here by the edge of the hill, and then just kind of push it to the edge to slowly build it up a little bit. But most of it goes over the hill. Need some rocks in here, a little wall to hold it. Alright, well then, try 
chopping for about another 20 minutes and my, my arms are just like rubber with the pick. I can't swing it anymore at all. So that's enough of that. I'll clean this up and I'll get the bar and try to dress up the top of this a little bit, maybe the sides, and then finish it off with a shovel. Yeah, this is good exercise. Our, our hard work, got to be good for you. All right, just kind of guessing at the angle. I can't see through the viewfinder. Maybe you'll be able to see that. Now I'm gonna use the bar a little bit just to kind of slice off the top areas. See how hard it is down here, it's just slicing off rather than digging. It's close to stone. Not quite, but close. See I can I can move the bar for a little bit of time now. My arms are just like feel like rubber again. And the goal is get this sort of flat, and that'd be perfect. Yeah, I can't lift the bar up. Spots, but I'm just I'm soaked. Gonna have to do it for now. Clean up my mess. And
thunder in the background. But the rain never seems to make it here for some reason. Not quite sure why. Well, that's that's 90 minutes of aerobic exercises with a shovel, a pick, and a bar. Rather than wasting in a gym, and there's no gym here anyway, so it can make it tough. All right, well, the mechanics, con gloves sure do help. We got one good blister here from the bar yesterday, but not too much today. Um, that's all I've got for now. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact me anytime at blindowloutdoors at gmail.com. Uh, it's always a joy to come into your homes for you have you watch our videos. And if you guys are ever in the neighborhood, please stop by. You're always welcome and Mara Feed love the company. Well, that's all I have from the island of a hole. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I know I am. Whew.